What's up guys, Sparks back with another Goddess of Victory Nikkei video and we are going to do an account review and take a look at all of the news and things that are coming because there's a lot of exciting stuff. I know it has been a long time, or at least comparatively, sort of longer between uploads uh, than I normally do, but I just haven't felt like there's really been something worth doing a video on. Although I have done a lot of community posts, which you guys have really been engaging with, and I really do appreciate that. Uh, I'm still consistently getting way more engagement than actual subscribers. So if you do enjoy my content, please subscribe to the channel. It'll help me out a lot. We're trying to get to that 1,000 sub goal. Now, uh, we are going to take a look at some of the news, like I said. So we'll go ahead and update this, or not update it. We're going to take a look at what's in the update uh, by going to the notices here. And by the way, my union is recruiting a few more spaces opened up. Uh, a couple people dropped the game or just weren't playing consistently enough. So uh, there's a link to my Discord in the description below. So if you want to join, hit me up and hopefully there will still be a spot uh, when you guys get in there. Okay, so uh, like I said, a lot of things are coming. I'm going to take a look at some of this news and then we're going to take a look at my account and see where I'm at progression wise and kind of see compared to like maybe where you are. So the first thing that's really exciting here is that we are getting Jackal. We're about to get her, uh, depending on when you're watching this video, it might be right now or tomorrow. Uh, she is a burst two defender, and honestly, she looks pretty cool, but I know that a lot of us, including myself, are probably pretty tapped out from Modernia, so I wouldn't be surprised if a lot of us end up skipping her. That said, don't feel too bad because she will be added to the main pool like most of the units have been, aside from the Christmas units. Uh, the next week after that, we will be getting Viper, who also looks very cool. Um, I would like to pull for Viper, we'll see. But I'd have to say, probably a good strategy right now is honestly to save your gems until there's like a must-have unit for you, maybe you're just a big fan of them, or there's a limited collaboration. Because you can kind of collect these other units along the way because they'll all go into the pool um, and you can just collect them over time. But let's see, what else? Um, they are also going to be adding in new campaign stages of uh, 19 and 20. Uh, yeah, so um, I'm not there yet. I'm currently um, a few before that. We'll take a look at that in my account in a second here. But that's cool for any of you guys who are like Mega Whales or majorly push through campaign. There will be more story available. Uh, also, they're adding the Liberation Mode, which is super exciting because it's a mode where you can get three different SSRs just by completing missions. And those are going to be Sin, Quincy, and Guilty, although some of those we haven't really got an official word on, but I'm sure we've all seen them all over the internet already. Uh, they're also going to add some more Lost Sectors, so that's cool. Uh, they're going to do a story event for Jackal. Um, you know, a lot of times with these new characters, like we've seen with Laplace and the Christmas characters, etc., um, the New Year one we're having right now, they do these kind of story missions where we can farm a lot of good resources. So if you're a new player, uh, don't undervalue these story missions that come with the new characters. It's a great opportunity to get a lot of resources. What else? Uh, they are also going to add landscape mode which this is huge. So, I mean, you can see that I'm playing in landscape mode right now. Some people do it on emulators. I'm using a third party app to force it to be in landscape mode, but they now are going to add a function where you can just adjust it in the settings. So this is huge. I think a lot of people have been asking for this ever since launch. What else? Uh, let's see, they are going to give us the ability to reset skills. So that is, Pretty cool, I think kind of unexpected, but just like you can reset Nikkei's levels by paying 10 gems, they're going to give us items where we can reset skills for the Nikkei's. Don't go too crazy with that because I believe they are gonna be limited quantity, but if you invested a lot in a character that you're really just not feeling anymore, this will be a good opportunity for you to get some of those resources back and then you can put those into another Nikkei. Okay, um, lastly, they are going to add, I mean, there's some other things that I'm kind of skipping over here a little bit. Um, but some bug fixes, etc. Uh, but a big thing is that are going to do some skill rebalancing. They say rebalancing, probably just bug fixes. There's sort of con conflict on whether they meant to have them function the way that they were or not. But in any case, they are going to change, and those balances are going to come to noise, Falklang, 
Soldier FA, like anyone's playing with that Nikkei, but hey. Um, and then Rapunzel. The big one here being Noise. Now, to be honest, when I was looking at the update notes, I feel like Noise is still going to be incredibly good. Uh, right now, she's super dominant in Arena and also quite good in PvE. And some people are saying this is going to be the fall of Noise, but to be honest, I mean, only time will tell. We'll have to test her out. But I feel like Noise is still going to be a very, very strong unit. So um, we're, I'm excited to see how that goes. Um, but I don't know. I feel like she's still going to be pretty OP. Okay. So with that said, uh, let's go ahead and take a look at where I'm at. You can see I've got Modernia here. Uh, remember, I got her to max LB. So we're going to look at my Nikkei's. So I have them all currently synced to level 147. I think I have enough resources right now uh, to push much higher than that. But at the current stage of campaign that I'm in, which is chapter 15, because I just haven't had the time to push it a lot, I'm already overpowered for most of those stages requirements. So um, I just haven't leveled them up um, until I need to. But uh, my main ones here, of course, are Modernia, uh, Privity, and then um, Dola is pretty cool. I got her to LB3, and I'm only one away with Privity. So I'm definitely getting close to being able to push past that 160 wall. I think by the time I get to 160, I'll probably just naturally be able to get above it because I already have two that are there. And then I'm one away on Privity. I'm one away on Pepper and then one away on Crow. And that's already going to be enough. And then there are several. Oh, also Celine here. I'm only one away on. Um, I pulled two of her randomly just now, as you saw in the beginning of the video. Um, so that brought her up to two stars. And then I have several Nikkeis that are on one star that, uh, who knows, maybe I'll get them up to 200 as well, depending on just what I pull. So I'm not really too worried about it. As far as equipment goes, I'm pretty much living off of um, tier seven right now. And I've upgraded a few pieces, like here on Modernia. You can see that I have some of up to level five. Uh, I've got one here on Privity. And I know there's another one here on the support, but I haven't been leveling them up too much. Um, you know, I want to wait until I can get the maxed out gear to really dump in a lot of resources. Um, but honestly, I just haven't really needed to. As far as moves, I have all Nikkeis that I'm using um, with their skills up to at least level four. And then for Modernia, I have her skills all the way up to level seven. And then I have some other Nikkeis that I use a lot like Privity at level five. Um, I think maybe Leader and Rapunzel are also level five. Let's see, yeah, level five, level five, yeah. Um, all right, so some Nikkeis that I would like to sync but I just don't have room in the Synchro Chamber right now are Uni and, uh, where is she, Julia. But I just don't have room for them but I probably will uh, fairly soon because I believe um, I will be unlocking some more slots. Okay, uh, what else? I told you I'm in campaign 15. Oh, let's take a look at the tribe tower. And in the tribe tower, I'm at level 90. It's Chatterbox. I only attempted him once, but I think with a little bit more attempts, um, I'll be able to beat him. And then all the rest of these are right around level 70, aside from Pilgrim. Um, I'm at level 10 because I've just recently been able to play it at all because before I got Modernia I had only uh, Rapunzel so there just wasn't too much that I could do with that but so far I've been blowing through um, all of my allotted times with just those two units. I am commander level 121 not that that's super important <laughs> um, and then I'm at outpost defense level 69 nice <laughs> and i am currently first in arena unless somebody kicked me out let's see let's go to arena in rookie arena oh yeah i dropped down to rank two last time i checked i was rank one so we'll see if i can get back up there to rank one and then for special arena of course this fluctuates but i'm usually battling in the uh high teens to the low 10s, I probably dropped down. Yeah, I'm down to 24, uh, but when it resets, I'll probably be able to climb back up again tomorrow. 
All right, so that's my account. Uh, let me know where you're at, if I'm ahead of you or behind you. If you have any questions or suggestions for me on what you think I should focus on more. And uh, yeah, like if you have any advice on what units to build or, if, you know, especially because we have that skill reset coming. If you want to know maybe what you should invest in more, I'll be happy to help out. Also, if you have any questions on arena um, team building, I've had a pretty good amount of success with that, as you can see. So I'll be happy to help you out there as well. Remember, my union is recruiting. We had a few places open up. So link to my Discord in the description below. Thank you so much for watching. Super excited about this update. Of course, more videos will be coming soon once all this stuff drops. I really appreciate the support. Subscribe, like the video, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.